going to talk a little bit about the wiring now and I'm going to start with the charge controller <coughs> um, and explain a little bit about this. And they're very similar. Um, this is not it, first of all, this is not it, what's called an MPPT, Maximum Power Point Tracking um, Charge Controller. I wish it was, but I don't have the money right now for it. Um, but that is something that if you're going to you have an off-grid um, application, in other words, you're going you're gonna to use your sun, your wind, to charge your batteries, you, you're going to want an MPPT charge controller because that's going to maximize the uh, current uh, or the power um, that's coming in from your panels or from your solar or from your turbine. It's going to maximize that. Um, and match it up perfectly with the current, I'm sorry, with the, uh, with the battery voltage. And um, they say you get up to 30, 40% more. I don't know if it's that high, but I'd say probably 15, 20% pretty much uh, certain in terms of an increase of power um, from your panels or your wind turbine with an MPPT um, charge control. So if you're just starting out, I recommend going with an MPPT um, charge controller and just doing it right the first time. I'm going to have to um, obviously uh, get one later, but right now this is this is your standard non-MPPT charge controller. Um, and what it does, it's cheap though, so it cost me about 159 bucks from Missouri Wind and Solar. And this is how it's wired up. Um, again, your positive, your negative from your wind or from your sun are hooked up directly most directly to the battery. Your charge controller is then hooked up um, to right, to monitor the battery, the voltage, and when the voltage gets too high, its job is to kill the current coming in from whether it's the panel, um, from charging the batteries, or if it's from the wind to, to take that current and actually not kill it, but to divert it in the case of wind, to divert that power to a diversion load and, and um, burn it off. So here's how it's wired up. You open this up. First thing you see here, I'll just do a, you can see the whole thing. You see a, um, this is like a microprocessor. And you've got a positive and a negative lead that come off of this and go right to, in my case, to my battery, to my bus bars, which is to my battery. So you've got a positive and a negative off this microprocessor that's connected to your battery. What's the purpose of that? The purpose of that is so it can monitor your battery's voltage. Know when the voltage gets too high so it can then um, create, um, you know, in the case of the wind, a relay of that power uh, so it's diverted somewhere else or in the case of the solar to disconnect that power from the load uh, from, from the panels on your on your roof um, okay so quick uh, I'm gonna start a new video just getting more detail on the wiring